So here we are given h of x, which is given as a variable, and then it's two to the power of x minus one plus q. And then they say the line y is equal to six is an asymptote of graph of h. P is the y-intercept of h, and t is the x-intercept of h. Write down the value of q. That's the first one, number one. Simple. Right? Mm. How would you get the value of q? What is going to be q? Q is going to be equal to minus six. Right? Mm. Whatever the asymptote is, then it's going to be our q. And then we get one mark for this one. Mm. And guys, you can see with your examination, like they don't want you to get zero. Mm. <laughs> like these are the questions whereby you should be making sure that you get them. And then number two, if the graph of H passes through the point one, minus one and minus five and the court, calculate A. Mm. So you can, like this thing here, it's a mixed fraction. You can change a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Your calculator can do that for you. You don't have to worry about it. So you simply come and type it in your calculator. On your calculator, you're going to put it improper. Improper is this one, shift this one here. Yeah. So you should be careful. Improper fraction is shift, and then you go to that thing of a fraction. And then you type this thing exactly the way it is there. Then you're going to have minus five, and then you say which you have one all over four equals to it. And then it gives you this thing here as a one, as a, as a improper fraction, which is going to be minus one, minus 21 all over four, which is something that we did around the, the primary. Yeah, it's it's not this. You should be careful. They have seen us saying something like it's not five. It's not it's not as if you have minus five. Look at this, minus five, multiply by this. This is something totally different. One all over four. This is a different thing. You are not going to get the same answer. Here. I think you see this one is minus twenty one over four. Mm -hmm. And that one it's a it's a mixed fraction. So you use the mixed fraction thing, and then it's going to change it into an improper fraction. And then from here onwards. Uh, we are given which we have minus one and then we have minus 21 all over four. Okay, now what do we know about this? We know which we can come and substitute it. I think we already know what is Q. So on number two, we'll say which we have uh, Y, which is going to be equal to A multiplied by two to the power of X minus one minus six. Let's start with that. And then we can check this point that they gave us and then we're going to substitute it here. If we take that point, we're going to have minus 21 all over four, which is going to be equal to A multiplied by two. They told us what is X. So it's minus one, minus one, and then minus six. And then from here onwards, you are going to take the six to this other side. Eh? If you take six to this other side, it's negative. When it gets to this side, it's going to become one. Then we have minus 21 all over four plus six which is going to be equal to A multiplied by two to the power minus two. And then if you type this in your calculator, what do you get? You get three over four. It's three all over four, which is going to be equal to A multiplied by two to the power minus two again. Now, what do you want to do here? What? You want to remove two, my, uh, two to the power minus two. Now, the next thing is that if you're using a casual calculator, you can do that. Then you can say two minus two. Divide by two to the power minus two, like this. Man, you can do this in your calculator. Remember, we say which if the exponents are not the same, you can't divide these two things. Okay? So you need to change this thing first. In fact, let's do that. I think we'll say, let's do the right thing because people will copy the wrong thing here. Let's change this thing. How do you change it? You put it on your casual calculator. Your casual calculator will tell you what, it, what is this thing here if you don't understand it. Say two to the power of minus two. Okay. And then look at what the casual says. Okay? It says which it's one all over one all over. Four. So it means which here you can come and have something like this then. You can then come and have three all over four, which is going to be equal to A, one all over four. A and one, they are on the same, they are on the numerator. Mm -hmm. And then four is on the denominator. And then with that inside, then it means which you can cross multiply. And then if you cross multiply, this one comes here, and then we have four. And then it says which you have four divides four. And then I'm going to have three, which is going to be A. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And then therefore it means which because they wanted to know which uh, what is going to be the what is going to be the value of a then you will get your four marks here. So how do you get your four marks here? Uh, you're going to get your four marks by substituting point a uh, 
by substituting this point here. And then I'm going to get another mark here for changing these two. And then you're going to get another mark for A, and then you're going to get another mark for substituting Q there. And then you get your four marks. Now, what is the equation then after this? Uh, because now you've done this, then you know which one is going to be the equation. The equation is going to be given as we know instead of A here, what are we going to put three? So it means which H of X can be given yeah. as three, open bracket two, X minus one minus six. So this is the equation, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the next question says, uh, calculate the average gradient between x and the y-intercept. So we want to get the average gradient, x and the y-intercept. How would you get the y-intercept? Let's start with the y-intercept. How would you get the y-intercept? Mm. So I'm going to have y, which is going to be equal to, so this is number three. I'm going to have y, which is going to be three multiplied by two, zero minus one minus six. And we type this again. What do you get if you type this? Minus 4,5, 9 over 2. So you get 9 all over 2, yeah, which is going to be minus 9 all over 2, okay? We'll give you 1 for this one. How do you get the x-intercept then? x-intercept, y is going to be equal to 0. Then you're going to have 0, which is going to be, let me use a different color for different. So you have zero, which is going to be equal to three multiplied by two X minus one minus six. Right? Take this one to this other side. It says which are going to have six, which is going to be three multiplied by two X minus one. You divide by three, you divide by three. It says which two is going to be equal to two X minus one. What do you do from here? You drop the exponents. Right? <laughs> If you drop the exponent, it says which two is going to be, it says one. It says one is going to be equal to x minus one. Take this one to this other side. It says which x is going to be equal to one, two. two. Okay, now let's put in the coordinates then. What, what are the coordinates so that we can get this average gradient that they're talking about? So our coordinates we have them as zero, which goes with minus nine all over two. And then we also have this point, which is two, which goes with zero. Right? And then we want M. M is going to be given as minus nine all over two minus zero, all over zero minus two. And then you type this in your calculator. Then. If you were to type this in your calculator, let's see what you get. You have minus nine all over two, minus zero right? all over zero minus two equals two it gives us nine all over four and then one two and then we set three four five and then we go to the last one the last one says determine the equation of p if P of X is equal to H of X minus two in the form of, so let's look at what is happening here. So you have the equation of F of X, we're going to write it here. So you have the equation of F of X. What is the equation of F of X? The equation of F of X, oh, it's H of X. The equation of H of X is given as, uh, it's three multiplied by two X minus one, minus six, I wish. Now here, look at the, what is happening here. I can, here there's X here. And then what do you have here? You also have what? X. Now, they, they say H of X. They don't know how want H of X anymore. They want H of X minus two. Yeah? What does that mean? It means which way we see X. You see there's an X here. Again. What am I going to put then there? So here I'm going to have H open bracket. Now, instead of X, this is what I'm going to put. I'm going to put X minus two. So I've changed the X again. Mm. Because I'm doing it on the left-hand side. Whatever I do on the left-hand side, you're also going to do it on the right-hand side. So yeah. I've changed, instead of having H of X, we have X minus two based on what they want. I can't they want X minus two. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to write this thing exactly the way it is. It's three multiplied by two. And then instead of X, I think there's X here. There was an X, there was an X. Now it's no longer an X anymore. It's X minus two. Right? So it means which even this side here, instead of having X here, what am I going to have? X minus two. 
but there's still the minus one. Remember that. Right? And then you still have what? Minus six. And then what is going to be this equation? Then it says which is three multiplied by two. And then here, these two are like terms. Right? Then you're going to have x minus three minus six. And then this is going to be P of X. And then you get your one and two marks. Now, then we can come and do the following now as an activity now. Let's do number E now. 